We're continuing with section 3.8 and this time um, examples. And so example 3 part A, uh, it find y prime if x, x cubed plus 6xy minus y squared equal to 0. Um, notice this is the implicit function. So let's take the uh, derivative of it. Uh, so how do we take the derivative? Uh, let's start with left-hand side equal to right-hand side. So here, this one becomes 3x squared. This one becomes plus 6 is the constant and a product rule. So derivative of x times y which is y plus um, x times derivative of y, x times y prime, uh, minus derivative of this one is, uh, uh, it's the generalized power rule, 2y, y prime equal to derivative of 0 is still 0. Now, um, how many y primes do I have? I have a y prime in, the, in here. I have a y prime in here. But what we need to do is uh, to distribute that 6 to get the y prime on its own uh, in the third Now I will take uh, the two uh, terms that carry y prime to the other side by subtracting them. So 3x squared plus 6y is equal to 2y y prime minus 6x y prime. Uh, the next step is to factor out y prime on the right side. So again, the same thing here, equal to y prime factored. Oops, sorry. If you factor y prime from the first um, term, you get 2y. And if you factor y, y prime from the second, uh, you get negative 6x. Now y prime is this, uh, the left hand uh, side divided by what might multiplies y prime. So y prime is 3x squared plus 6y divided by 2y minus 6x. Now example 3 part b. Example 3 part b. Find the tangent line to the curve. Uh, this again another implicit uh, function and this one is x to the third uh, plus y squared minus 2xy equal to 4 at point negative 2 and 2. So this time again, uh, the same method as uh, example 3 part a, take the derivative of both sides. So let's start with x to the third plus y squared minus 2xy equal to 4. Derivative of 3x squared is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, x to the third is going to be 3, 3x squared. A derivative of y squared is a generalized power rule. So it's 2y two, two times y prime. This one is going to be a uh, derivative of negative 2xy is going to be a product rule. And so negative 2 times 
derivative of x, which is 1, times y, plus x times derivative of y, which is y prime. Derivative of 4 is 0. Now put a like term, uh, terms with uh, y together. That is, put this and this together, and what you get, at, and to the other side, and so you get 2x squared minus 2y is equal to 2xy prime uh, minus 2y y prime. Now factor out y prime, so still have 3x squared minus 2y on this side, 2x minus 2y on that side, and then um, y prime solve for y prime. y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 2y over 2x minus 2y. So, um, so far so good. Uh, what you need to do at this point is to plug in x value negative 2, y value 2. So x value should be negative 2 and y value should be 2. Negative 2 and 2. This is when x and y are negative 2. 2 and 1. So this is 3 negative 2 to power 2 and that's 12 minus 2 times 2, 4 divided by 2 times negative 2, negative 4 minus 2 times 2, negative 4 as well. So it's 8 divided by negative 4 equal to negative 1. So the slope at that point is negative 1. Okay. Now that we know the slope, uh, what is the tangent line itself? The tangent line itself is going to be y minus y equal to the slope times x minus uh, x value, which is plus 2. And that makes your tangent line, and you can solve for it, and, and etc. Uh, let's see this point negative two and two x x equal to negative two, and y value equal to two. So the ta this is the tangent line that goes like that, basically. Um, so that's that's one thing that uh, you can find. And some, sometimes the expectation is uh, to solve and find where the tangent line is horizontal and where is the tangent line uh, vertical and uh, that sort of things. Um, and of course, uh, when you simplify the tangent line, it becomes y equal to negative x, as you are kind of expecting that to happen here. Uh, so we're basically progressing. First we found the derivative and now we found the tangent line. So you're expecting at the next question we start asking for um, or we uh, find points where the tangent line is horizontal or vertical and that's what happens. This is uh, uh, number three, example three, part C for the equation x cubed plus y squared equal to xy, find the point for which the tangent line is horizontal or vertical. So the first step is differentiate implicitly. That's differentiate x to the third because the derivative of it is 3x squared. y squared is going to be uh, 2y, y prime xy is going to be a product rule. A derivative of x is 1 times y plus x times derivative of y. Now take um, this term to that side, this term back to here, 
and what we get is three sorry is um, 3x squared minus y, y is subtracted from both sides, uh, equal to x, y prime, minus 2y, y prime. Now if you factor y prime on this side, if we factor y prime, um, and what is left of x, y prime is x. What is left of 2y, y prime is 2y. Now, y prime is equal to 3x squared minus y divided by x minus 2y. Now, the next question is, where is this um, y prime um, equal to 0? Where is it? Uh, where it, when is it uh, going to infinity or undefined? Uh, so for zero, we set uh, the numerator equal to zero. We're always uh, careful not to find points that make both numerator and denominator zero. Um, those um, follow other rules basically. 3x squared minus y equal to 0, that's the numerator equal to 0, that is y is equal to 3x squared. Oh, but that's a parabola, not a point. What do I do? Uh, what you do is you go back to the equation again, and you, you basically um, replace y in the equation uh, by 3x squared. And so it's becoming x to the third plus that, this. And in here, you, instead of y, you put in 3x squared. Well, or you could have, uh, in, in, this could be either way. Whichever you can solve for, you replace it back into the original uh, equation that is the implicit function and so from there you uh, basically it would be x to the third plus 9x to the fourth equal to 3x to the third and solving that is going to be uh, let's sub um, subtract 3x to the third, it's 9x to the fourth minus 2x to the third equal to 0, x times x to the third times 9x minus 2 equal to 0, so you get a value x equal to 0, and the 0 of that is x equal to 2 ninth. But um, x value is not enough. Uh, where did we start it? We, we set the numerator of the derivative equal to 0, and we got y equal to 3x squared. And uh, we plug it back into the original, and we got two values for x. Now it's time to put the x values into y to find y values. For this one, we will find y equal to 0. And for this one, we find y equal to 9 times 2, 9 to power 2 is 4 divided by 9. So one issue comes about. If you, so you, you basically found two points, one of them is 0 and 0, the other one is 2, 9 and 4 ninth. And both of these values make the uh, numerator of y prime equal to 0. The problem is 0 and 0 also makes the denominator equal to 0. So it's more than, uh, it's not a 0 
or it, it's not a value and that you can calculate so set that one apart aside and uh, just take the two ninth and fourth nine as as where the uh, horizontal value the horizontal uh, line a horizontal tension line exists and so let's go back in here and see what happens at uh, zero and zero so at zero and zero uh, the issue is um, in, in and so you have to basically uh, figure out uh, what values are happening at zero and zero and a simple graphing will tell you that at zero and zero uh, there are uh, two pieces of the graph are intersecting it's basically where the function doesn't have a, uh, a tangent line because two pieces of graph are intersecting and each piece has a different tangent line so tangent line is not defined in here <clears throat> So we can do guess that the uh, what the values that we found the two ninth and four ninth uh, where the uh, two ninth and four ninth are right right about here that's where the tangent line is horizontal. Now let's find where tangent line is vertical. So in a similar process, find set the denominator equal to zero again at the end we're going to exclude anything that makes both numerator and denominator zero go back to the original function and this time uh, solve for sorry solve for x or y either one and then go back to the original function and replace one of the variables uh, with the other one. So this time around we're replacing uh, x by and so we start with uh, instead of x squared we will have let's see instead of x squared we will have a big parenthesis to put 2y in then y squared plus uh, equal to parentheses times y mm, yes and so in here put in 2y in here put in 2y and calculate this time it's 4y no I'm sorry 8y cubed right it's uh, 2 to the power 3, which is 8y cubed plus y squared equal to 2y squared. And then uh, this, if you subtract 2y squared, you get 8y squared minus 8y cubed minus y squared equal to 0. So it's y squared times 8y minus 1 equal to 0. Then uh, y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 over 8. Now go back to this equation that you used uh, in the original to find the x value. And x here gives you 0 and x over there gives you 1 fourth. Again, 0 and 0 will cause the numerator and denominator exactly like here. So this one is out as well. This one though, 1 fourth and 1 eight seems like a, uh, it actually is a correct point uh, for the vertical asymptote. And in, in here you can see uh, that on the graph there is a vertical asymptote right there. I click here. I click here question two for the equation x to the third plus y to the third equal to six x y. Find the equation of the tangent line at point three and three. 
So option A, x equal to 3, option B, y equal to negative 3x plus 12, option C, y equal to negative 9, 7, x, 9, 7, x plus 48, 7, option D, y equal to negative x plus 6, option E, y equal to 3. So this, the first step, after you pause and solve, the first step is to uh, take the derivative of that, which is 3x squared uh, plus 3y squared y prime equal to 6 uh, y plus 6xy prime. Putting the y primes together, and this together, and factoring y prime and solving. If you plug in, um, let's plug in 3 and 3, that's x equal to 3. Uh, that's if you plug in 3 and 3 you get 3 times 9 minus 6 times 3 divided by 6 times 3 minus 3 times 9 and uh, the numerator is 27 minus 18 the denominator is 18 minus 27 so you get a value of negative 1 now negative 1 and 0.33 negative 1 for the slope and y minus 3 equal to negative x minus 3 so y minus 3 is equal to negative x plus 3, so y is equal to negative x plus 6, and d is the answer. In the beginning, we mentioned that uh, sometimes uh, when, it, when there are implicit function involved, you can sometimes solve for um, x, and sometimes you can solve for y, um, in, in so that brings up the fact that you can consider x as a function of y or y as a function of x. And this question is asking example 4, uh, comparing dy over dx and dx over dy. And so this time around, first let's take the derivative of this with respect to x, considering y. So here we're saying y of x. So when you take the derivative, 9x squared becomes 18x uh, plus um, derivative of xy becomes derivative of x is going to be 1 plus y uh, plus, uh, times y uh, and then uh, x times derivative of y which gets a y prime plus the generalized power rule of uh, basically 9 times 2 18y y prime equal to 0 and then uh, 18x plus y going to be equal to negative xy prime minus 18y y prime solve for y prime 18x plus y by, um, I'm skipping a step, I didn't factor, and, and I, I'm just dividing because I know the factor. Um, and so negative x minus 18y. So we solved it one way, let's solve it the other way. So red is when you assume x is a function of y. So instead of uh, derivative of 9x squared being 18x, 
derivative of 19 squared becomes 18 x x prime then plus derivative of x y becomes x prime y plus x derivative of 9 y squared becomes 18 y equal to 0 and then you put in x uh, the terms with x prime 18 x x prime plus x prime y equal to negative x minus 18 y then you solve for uh, i'm going to factor and not skip step this time and x is equal to negative x minus 18y divided by 18x plus y. Now compare these two. What just happened? And that's an arrow. Uh, I just see that the uh, sorry that x prime is the reciprocal of y prime basically so this is saying that dy dx is the reciprocal of dx dy which is an interesting fact in there and so for the following questions uh, we want to find the same values also so continuing with example four uh, part two this time uh, first i'm going to assume uh, y is a function of x and take the derivative derivative of square root of uh, x plus y is uh, again x the square root of x plus y is x plus y to power one half so it's going to be one half x plus y to power negative one half times derivative of inside derivative of x is one y is y prime then a product rule on the other side which is two x y squared plus x2 x squared y y prime because derivative of y squared is going to be 2y y prime now put the um, uh, basically uh, distribute and and also you can multiply that two on the other side so i get x plus y to power negative one half and um, plus so let's uh, rewrite this as And uh, from there, uh, multiply this by the other side. 1 plus y prime equal to 4xy squared x plus y plus 4x squared y. y prime square root of x plus y. Uh, there are two terms with uh, y prime in it. Uh, put those two terms in one side. So you get 4x squared y, y prime, square root of x plus y, minus y prime. And then you get 1 minus 
x, y squared, square root of x plus y. And the last step is uh, factor y prime, divide, and this is what we're ending up with. And divide it, if you factor y prime here, you end up with 4x squared y, square root of x, x plus y minus 1. So we found y prime, or in the, in the other words, I use the short notes in here, right? So that we found dy dx. Uh, now, how do we find dx dy? dx dy, again, uh, the similar route as the previous problem. And again, we start with square root of x plus y uh, renaming that as or not even that we take the derivative of both sides and uh, this side is going to be 1 over 2 square root of xy which is the derivative of outside times the derivative of inside this time x is the function of y so it's um, x prime plus 1 equal to again x is a function of y so 2x x prime y squared plus 2 x squared y and, um, and multiply uh, things through and we get x prime plus 1 is equal to 4 x x prime y squared uh, square root of x plus y plus 4 x squared y square root of x squared plus y um, and then put the terms with x prime together so you get 4x x prime y squared square root of x plus y minus x prime and on the other side we get 1 minus 4x squared y square root of x squared plus y and square root of x plus y I'm sorry And um, we solve for x prime to get 1 minus 4x squared y square root of x plus y over uh, 4xy squared square root of x plus y minus 1. Again, remember this time this is this was short note for dx, dy. So we did both of them. Um, this was the work and the work kind of got away from the, uh, the final answer of the other work. Uh, so these are the two answers. And if you look uh, closely, you see that they are reciprocal of each other. Normally, you just need to take the um, derivative with respect to one and not both of them. So I'm going to just do that for the next question, which is uh, part three of question four, uh, and then figure out, okay, the other one is the reciprocal of this, basically. So in here, uh, let's um, try to Assume y is the function of x. And this time, uh, derivative of e to the power xy, uh, it's a chain rule of uh, e to power xy times derivative of uh, xy, which would be um, y, derivative of x times y, 
uh, plus x times y prime. So that's the right hand side, uh, left hand side, then right hand side is then the left hand side is um, derivative of e to the power 4x uh, that's e to the power 4x times derivative of 4x which is 4 uh, minus e to the power 5y it's itself again and times derivative of 5y which is 5y prime now um, let's do this. Let's um, distribute e to the power x, y, y plus e to the power x, y, x, y prime for e to the power 4x minus 5, y prime e to the power 5, y. Uh, terms in y with y prime one side terms without y prime in the other side and uh, so the other side minus 5 y prime e to the power 5y minus e to the power xy x y prime and so factor y prime on this side And solve. So y prime is going to be uh, e to the power x y y minus four e to the power four x divided by negative five e to the power five y minus e to the power x y times x. Again, we call this uh, we call this y prime uh, for short. So, what is it really? dy dx, and then dx dy is going to be the reciprocal of this, which is negative e to the power five y minus e to the power x y times x divided by e to the power x y y minus 4 e to the power 4 x and that concludes this part